Come with us on a mesmerizing visual journey through Quebec City, where breathtaking sights, cascading waterfalls, and enchanting European styling await, turning every frame into a masterpiece. Stay tuned for an unforgettable adventure. Well, good morning. It's a couple days after Kingston, and we are back on the road. This time we're doing something a little bit different, we're going to Quebec City, but we're bringing some friends with us in the trailer. After picking up Chris and Dan, and all their stuff, we're on the road. Before long, we cross over into the province of Quebec. Waking up in the flower bed, the sun is up, table set. So I said I wasn't doing a live tonight, but uh, we are at the campsite. We are all set up. Mm. Having a drink before dinner. To Tomorrow, we're in Quebec City. We're at the KOA. Um, this is a beautiful campground. The sites are a little bit close, as you can see from the giant Class A motorhome right beside me. And uh, anyways, but it's a nice campsite. Um, it really didn't. Wow, everybody's opening drinks. I like that sound. Cheers. Yeah, that's a good cheers. sound. Cheers. Traveling right now, or what? Uh, yeah, we're live. Do you want to be on? Do you want? You you have say cheers. <laughs> Given's cousin and her husband are camping with us this weekend, so. Well, it's been an interesting start to the day. We had a flood in the trailer. And so Gilan spent most of the morning cleaning that up. We're a little late getting on the road, but we are going to Montmorency Falls. The Montmorency Falls are located 12 kilometers from the heart of Old Quebec City. In 1885, the site of Montmorency Falls is the stage of an event of worldwide importance. The energy produced from the hydroelectric generating station here is carried for the first time over a long distance, and Quebec becomes one of the first municipalities in North America to use hydroelectric energy. There's a lot of stairs. We climbed them when we were here with the kids in 2015. I think we'll stick to the Funatel today. A Funatel differs from a standard gondola because it has two arms attached to two parallel overhead cables, providing more stability in high winds. In 1780, Frederick Haldeman bought all of the land at the top of the waterfall to the west. He commissioned a Palladian-style villa considered to be the first vacation home in Canada. The manor has also been used as a hotel and a retirement home. Behind the manor is the trailhead to the bridge going over the falls. The falls are 272 feet tall, a full 99 feet taller than Niagara Falls. You can also go ziplining over the falls. Looks like fun. That boat is a reminder that we have a river cruise booked. We better get on the road. Quebec City has so much art. Here's some more art. I'm not sure what's up with that big yellow bird. A dollar eighty a liter, that's six seventy eight a gallon. Now we need to find parking. Ooh, this should be fun. Two point one eight meters is eighty five inches, so we should clear it, but it's gonna be tight, especially with the mirrors. He then's going to get out and keep an eye on things. This garage is tight and there is no parking. Here's one, but it's going to be a group effort to get the truck in. It's been 
birthday. See that shadow front knife behind me? Oh, is that a... And we're going to vote to get on a cruise. Look at the ferry fighting the current of the St. Lawrence River. When the road just keeps going for miles, we're going to get there. In the face of the wind and the wild, we're going to get there. Love makes the journey a beautiful race. We're closer to home with each step that we take. We're gonna get there. This is one of the biggest dry docks in the country, and here under wraps for privacy is the HMCS Frigate Toronto. Those falls look very familiar. Take a deep breath and rest for a while. We're gonna get there's Beaupark Bay Beach. Say that three times fast. We can reach out on the uncertainty. We can look up, fix our eyes on a tree. We're gonna get there. Some of these buildings in Lower Town date back to the early 17th century. This city has some serious art happening. You can really see the European roots in the architecture. To ensure our existence, we must cling to the earth and bequeath to our children the language of our ancestors and the ownership of the soil. All of the fortification here speaks to Quebec's rocky and often violent beginnings. Well, that's it for today. Good morning. We're back in Quebec City and we're going to do a walking tour. Quebec City originated within these walls over 400 years ago. Today it remains the only fortified city north of Mexico whose walls still exist. Back to the tight parking, it's the only one available. We've got an average snowfall of three and a half. see history everywhere you look. I no saint. I no saint. But I'm this is the Dufferin Terrace at the Chateau Frontenac. But I'm a cool Here is the inner courtyard of the world famous Chateau Frontenac Hotel. This restaurant is the oldest known house in Quebec. Art is abundant in Quebec City. Painters, musicians, and street performers are everywhere. Donnacona is the shortest street in Quebec. The Clarendon Hotel has been a theater and a school in its time, but it is the oldest hotel in Quebec. This Richard Mill timepiece was a gift from Switzerland for Quebec's 400th anniversary.
Novak has a lot of churches. Let's go inside. This church was considered the first school in Canada and pays homage to Marie Guillard, also known as Marie of the Incarnation. And here's the Anglican Church. And this is the Immaculate Notre Dame Cathedral, complete with the only holy door in the Americas. Let's go inside. The Holy Door is only open for passage every 25 years. It's scheduled to be open in 2024 to celebrate 350 years of the Diocese of Quebec. Back out on the streets of Quebec City, the rain has started. In the streets for a bit more, it's time for some authentic Quebec boots in. Hidden beneath the Dufferin Terrace is the remnants of the original fort. This chamber was filled with ice from the river during the winter and provided refrigeration year round. Four forts were built here between 1620 and 1694. It was the official residence of the French governor of New France. Over 500,000 artifacts have been found here. Through the skylights, you can see up through the Dufferin Terrace. The fort has been home to French, English, and Indigenous leaders. This statue is Samuel Champlain, credited as the founder of New France. So we're done our walking tour, and we did a tour of the original fort that was here. Yeah. Now we're just going to head back to the trailer. Gotta love street performers. This guy used to be with the Cirque du Soleil. This is better than tequila. Well, it is raining. We're in the old square in Quebec. And we've seen pretty much everything that we wanted to see today, so I think we're just gonna head back to the trailer. raining. It's a pretty good day but we did have a lot of rain but the only reason I'm doing this video is because I want to show you something. Those are not hot dogs. It's a non-hot dog day. We're having kebabs with cauliflower rice and Greek salad. No hot dogs today. It's not always a hot dog day. All right, so got the chicken kebabs. Can't even see me. Can't see me. Got the steak kebabs. Uh, cauliflower rice. Oh, baby, baby potatoes. Got everything going on with hot dogs. Well, 
good morning as you can see it's raining again so we are doing a walk or a drive to the island of Orleans and we're doing St. Anne Canyon let's hit the road and see what there is to see there were days where we thought we wouldn't make it out but we stuck it out Orleans Island is located in the St. Lawrence River just east of Quebec City. It is easily accessible by bridge. The unique climate and location developed over centuries have created incredible farmland, meaning the area has unique wineries, cheese, fruits and vegetables, homemade jams, its own craft beer, and spirits. I'll fight for you until this life is over. There's no giving up here, babe. We'll make it out and fall in love tonight. Ain't nothing needed but us feeling right. Just take a chance, we got a wild ride. Wait and see you and me. We were that waterfall looks very familiar. We were meant to be. This chocolate shop is very well known in Quebec. When we found it, fell back in love, the best still to come. Unfortunately, I don't know what I was doing with my camera. I had the zoom on and I'm not even sure I was trying to record anything. Let's find a quiet place to have our lunch. I'll fight for you until this life is over. This is beautiful. I'll fight for you until this life is over. There's no giving up here, babe. We'll make it out and fall in love tonight. Ain't nothing needed but us feeling right. Just take a chance, we got a wild ride. Wait and see, you and me, we were meant to be. We were meant to be. All right, let's keep exploring the island. Orleans Island has lots of farms and lots of churches. The best still to come, our time is now. Our time is now. I'll fight for you until this life is over. There's no giving up here, babe. We'll make it out and fall in love tonight. Ain't nothing needed but us feeling right. Just take a chance, we got a wild ride. Wait and see. Ooh, artisan cheese. We were meant to be. We were meant to be. We were meant to be. On our next stop, we have tickets to visit St. Anne Canyon, just east of Quebec City. Hello. Can you hear me where you are? I search for ways to call to you. I wish I knew. Today. The hollow shells and coins Swallowed all the darts I threw The canyon trails total 3 kilometers with a vertical drop of 50 meters and crosses 3 bridges, including the 60 meter high McNichol Bridge. Oh, I know Like daylight So you can see you can see all the little holes in the rock and they're almost like wells, they're like little cylinders and that's where the water pools and it gets stuck in its swirl and it carves out those holes over time and there's literally a dozen of them here in the rock. So very, uh, very violent waterfall. Have you right here closer? I'd rather have you in my mind. No matter how I call this progress, 
No matter how I change the lines I'd rather have you right here closer I'd rather have you in my mind No matter how I frame this picture Going down is the easy part. We gotta come all the way back up. 187 steps in the rain and they're wet. Should be fine. We made it. My legs are sore and I'm a little sweaty, but we did the 187 steps, so. And the view is spectacular. All right, we're on the loop back. Look at the size of this vertical pothole. I wonder how deep it goes. Well, the rain has stopped and we are back downtown. Parking here is not fun, especially with a big truck. It's much harder to park, but we are back downtown. We're going to do a ghost walk tonight, so. I've never seen this before, a shared washroom. A drum of maple syrup this size would cost more than $2,000. I'm sure this one is just a decoration. I will make it my duty to provide you all with good, and let's hope, rather spooky entertainment for tonight. <laughs> Quebec City uses pavers to show how high the river was over the centuries. This small wall is part of the original wharf that was here in the 1700s. Just look at this old architecture. A ghost tour is a great way to see a city by night in the safety of a big group and to learn some of the darker history of the city. We've done several of them. It's so neat to see the walls of the old city still standing, as well as the cannons that protected it. The city is beautiful at night. And we have a Ferris wheel across the river. And the ever-present Chateau Frontenac. Let's grab some popcorn. One more look at Petit Champlain. before calling an end to our trip to Quebec City. We hope you have enjoyed visiting one of the oldest cities in North America with us. subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Our next adventure is just around the corner.